But it has been a huge week in the managerial stakes as well. Big managerial appointment, of course. We'll talk about Damien Duff going to Shelburne in a moment. Uh, <laughs> but let's focus on Antonio Conte uh, and the Spurs story, um, Damien. Is this a massive coup for Tottenham? Yeah, absolutely. I was very surprised to see the, the, the speed which he took the job. You know, you know, he was touted for the Manchester United job and everyone thought he was waiting for that, but all of a sudden, Nuno goes and he was straight in. Um, it's surprising because Tottenham... Um, you know, aren't the biggest of big spenders. Conte is such a tough taskmaster, can be very, very difficult to handle from an ownership point of view. Tottenham are, are notoriously difficult to, to work mm. for. Um, but the only thing I can, can think in my head that's, that, that, that's lured into Tottenham is I think the Harry Kane sale is, is, is probably done. I think he's probably going to go early January and uh, that 100 million is probably being laid out now as we speak or the 100 million or so they're probably going to get in January because Tottenham are the type of club that are going to keep Harry Kane and then give Antonio Conte the... Because that Spurs squad undeniably needs surgery, right. major surgery. So Tottenham are the type of club. They, they wouldn't give it to Pochettino. They, they, they barely gave it to Mourinho. Um, so I, I can't imagine, unless there's something going on in the background there... He's been so you're surprised by the whole thing in Absolutely. terms of why he's gone there and... <laughs> you know, whether he'll be given the money or what, what's going on. So there's, there's a few questions. Just, uh, Brian, one of the quotes from him yesterday when it was announced, I can't wait to start working to convey to the team and the fans the passion, mentality and determination that have always distinguished me uh, as a player and as a coach. And they're things that maybe are not always being associated with, with this current Tottenham team of late. Is that fair to say? Oh, that's for sure. I mean, they've been nondescript this season, I'd say. Um... They started the season with three wins, including beating Manchester City 1-0. But they weren't impressive in any of the matches. They created very few changes. They didn't look particularly solid defensively, although they had three clean sheets early on. And now they've lost five out of the last seven. They've been very, very poor. But actually, I think they, they've quite a decent squad of players that he has to work with. And I think that someone as fiery, as feisty and as demanding as he is would be able to put a bit of a shape on this team very, very quickly. Um, I, I mean, I agree with Damien. It was a surprise one that Spurs were able to get him, given last week the discussion was with Manchester United to get mm. him. But I'm, I'm sure that with, with this guy, Pe Paratici, his mate... Who has a relationship from Juventus with him. He had a relationship. They won three titles in a row at, at Juventus when he went in. And, and it has to be remembered, Juventus hadn't won anything for nine years before that. So he, he turned that around. He went into Chelsea and he turned that around fairly quickly. In the first season, he, he won the league. Second season wasn't so good, they finished fifth. He's also a guy won the who cup though, didn't they? They won the cup in the second season and then he, he ends up in the row over recruitment and not getting the players he wanted. Do you think that the, 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 the qualities that he looks for in a player, the combative nature of the manager that he is, do you think there's enough players in that Spurs squad? To, you can't give someone mm. heart, you can't give someone passion, you can't give them desire, you know, and I just wonder has he been promised funds in January because you, I don't think you can give that to Brian, obviously yeah, your experience. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't think they've demanded enough, I think the previous like Marino, it's hard to say that about him but it, 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 it didn't go with Marino at all and it was through the Covid time and there was no crowds to match as he, he was trying to play a defensive unit and it didn't. It just didn't work, it didn't click, he, he it turned toxic eventually uh, and then they you know, they give Ryan Mason the job Job. He's only a young fella. Give him the job at the end of the season. We're in the cup final next week. Well, I should go ahead, try and win the cup final against Chelsea. It was madness by, yeah. by, by, the, by the, the owner, or not by, by Levy and the way he did it. <laughs> Absolutely. But now they've got a fella who there'll be, no there'll be clarity, there'll be no nonsense, and fellas will be asked to do the job. I think there's, a, there's, a, there's about six centre backs there. I think he could make three decent centre-backs out yeah. of them. We saw what we did at Chelsea, put Victor Moses at right, right back, right wing back, and Alonso wasn't in the picture mm. previously, and he put him in left wing back, and suddenly there were teams, they got hammered by Arsenal and Liverpool, and he changed to the back five, and away they went, and off they go, and they were, they were beating and, people outside. And that was the point he made, he made today in his, his uh, comments, in his interviews, that he has turned around bad situations before, whether it's at Chelsea when he took over, they were 10th under Mourinho, and then with Italy even, he did a great job with with, with them. We'll see what happens, five league and titles. Inter, with, and Inter. And Inter, of course, and Inter uh, as well. And Inter had done for years, either, yeah. and he went in and fixed that fairly smart. Were, so, any, were any of them as bad as Spurs? <laughs> well, I, 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 look, Spurs have been going down the table last few seasons from you know second to third to fourth to sixth to seventh, and they were heading for... 
clearly for mid-table mediocrity at the moment. And without, but I think there is enough half decent players there, there to make something out of it. I really well, do. I mean, there's attacking players there in the right formation. It's the bits behind them and getting the getting the solidness. Excuse me, at centre back and the wing backs. And there's like if you look at Regalon, the right the right wing back, and the Royal, the other fella. The, the, sorry, the left full yeah. and the right. They're wing backs, really. Ma always... Matt Doherty, I think there's a chance for him yeah. to get into his team now in the way he wants to play. Five league titles and three different clubs under Conte. If he does it with Tottenham, we'll be playing that clip, <laughs> Damien, back to you and making you feel really awkward. 